Um, one of our initiatives here at Chipola College is uh, helping prep students for the general knowledge test. Uh, the general knowledge is a test that uh, both of these students uh, have successfully passed. All students have to take this test and be successful with it before entering into a bachelor program. We have found that statewide uh, across Florida, uh, students have had difficulty with this test. And in order to uh, remediate that, uh, we have implemented uh, reading and language general knowledge prep classes and science and math general knowledge prep classes as well. Uh, both of these students have taken part in these classes. Uh, I'm one of the teachers for the reading and, and language general knowledge prep class. Uh, while the test was uh, being rewritten, uh, I was part of that. I helped write questions for the test. I helped uh, in many stages throughout the test uh, implementation. So it's, it's been a, a really good experience to help remediate that need that has, has been seen at a state level. Uh, our students have been very successful with taking this test, this general knowledge test, and passing it in order to, to help prepare them uh, to enter into a, a state program here at Chipola. Uh, Tabitha, I'd like to ask you how you feel like your experience in this test preparation class help you prepare for the exam. Uh, I actually took both classes. I took reading and language and then I took math and science all in the same semester. And I was really amazed at what a wonderful course it was. That It was like a refresher for information that I probably knew and some I did not. And once I sat to take the test, the information I had learned and been refreshed on was absolutely um, worth every moment because it was exactly the things I needed to know um, to pass the test, and I was confident taking the test. And I also felt like my instructors had an open door policy with all of us. They wanted us to succeed. If we had questions or we needed any additional help, they were ready and willing to do that. So I am very glad I took the classes and passed the test. That's great feedback. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, India, uh, same question. How do you feel like you, you were better prepared to, to take the test? Well, for me, it had been about 10 years since I had taken a math class, and I knew that that was something that I would have to pass on the general knowledge exam, and I wasn't ready for it. So that was the class that I was most concerned about, and I started doing that, and I walked out of the test with confidence. Like, I, I felt like I had passed the second I walked out, and I didn't have any questions about that. The same for the reading and the English, and that's where I felt like I was stronger, mm -hmm but the reading test was a beast. And I think that if I hadn't been in the class and I hadn't done the prep and I hadn't learned the skills, there's no way that I would have passed it on the first try. It would have taken me several tries, so. What do you feel like, um, what would you tell somebody who was apprehensive uh, about taking the class, uh, sitting for the test? So uh, now that you've both passed uh, and you've, uh, you're on that side of it, what, would you, what advice would you have for someone? I think I would say don't take the test without taking the classes. Absolutely. I mean, you want to make the odds forever in your favor, and taking those classes is a big step forward to passing the test. So I would definitely say take the classes. Yeah, it's a big financial commitment to take the test. Right. Not just the first time, but if you have to retake it, it's, it adds up, and you would be better off just going ahead and preparing yourself because you meet people in the classes too. They're dealing with the same things, they're taking the same test, and they're kind of a sounding board for you. You can collaborate a little bit, and it helps to have people who are going through the same thing as you. Absolutely, and, and you took the class that, that I taught, and there was a lot of peer collaboration. Um, there's, there's strength in numbers, and while you can't take the test uh, with somebody else, you, you can certainly collaborate um, on some of those review and, and test preps that, that we did, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, Tabitha, what type of things did you do independently outside of class to, to help prepare you for this general knowledge test? Well, I set aside, set aside time every day to review our textbook that we use for the general knowledge classes. Um, I did the practice tests multiple times. I read the book from front to back. So I, I really spent a lot of time studying independently on top of the, the work we did in class. Very good. So you, um, you, you had perseverance, you had diligence though, Definitely. but, but there, there is some outside work, of course, yes. outside of, of being in the class. Yes. But it paid sure. off. India, what about you? Um, for me, it was 
a lot of essay preparation. Uh, on a weekly basis, I was writing essays and not to have them graded, but just simply to go through the motion of making sure I can organize my words, making sure that all of my thoughts were where they needed to be. I did the same thing with math tests. I took one practice test every week and I had several that I would rotate through. And it was neat because with our math class, we actually were provided with practice tests mm -hmm. and I would be able to take the same several tests over and over again and you could see the improvement based on how long you'd been in class. So you feel like your efforts paid yeah, off and absolutely. ultimately passing the test, your, your efforts paid off. Absolutely. absolutely. Wonderful. Uh, Tabitha, I'd like to ask you, what would you tell somebody who is even thinking about uh, coming into the program, to an education program? When would they need to, to start this process of working through the general knowledge test? My advice would be to any Chipola student who plans to major in education, um, I think your second semester, I think that it's never too early to start at least thinking about taking the courses and the test. I think you need to think about um, which semester you'd like to take the prep courses in and then think about the date you'd like to take the test. I personally took my test immediately following the courses the next Friday. Um, and I felt like my information was strong and still with me and, and I did really well. I think that um, the earlier the better. Um, in case you don't pass, you don't want to be held up to get into the program. And um, I do believe the second semester, maybe, maybe your third or summer after your first year, um, is when you really need to put some focus on the general knowledge as an education major. India, what would you tell somebody? Well, I'm not, it's not that I'm in a unique situation, but I did take a break in between earning my associates and coming back to try to become part of the education program. And so for me, before I even could start trying to apply or taking the test, it was important for me to come back and do this. So I came back for a semester specifically to take these classes. Um, and I ended up taking my test in the middle of the class which was really interesting because I got to help and experience that with my classmates. Right. So as far as taking the classes, take them as early as you can. Take them before you take the test for the first time and take the test as soon as you can, either while you're in the class or after it, because all the information is fresh in your brain. And that's not helpful just for you, but it's helpful for all your classmates as well. Thank you so much for, um, for spending time with us today. We, we all three hope that you, uh, you, you realize that these preparation classes are, are taught with the students in mind. And the, the whole goal ultimately is for students to be able to pass this general knowledge test and that not become a barrier for you to get into any of these education programs. Thank you.